Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can reset a sprite. So right now I've got some code. When I click this button, it's going to broadcast the message stuff. Now, inside of Scratch Cat, when it receives stuff, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna change colors, gonna get big, all sorts of things that are rather interesting. Okay, so now if I wanna reset Scratch Cat back to the beginning, there are uh, some different methods that we can use for this. So I'm going to create a new message and say, when Scratch Cat receives a message called reset, we're going to have to reset some of the stuff that's going on in this code. So the first one, change color effect by five. So I want Scratch Cat to go back to the correct color effect. So I'm just gonna say clear graphic effects. So this is going to, make Scratch Cat return back to the correct color. If this were a different one, like Whirl, whoa, it's still gonna reset that. So any one of these effects, it, when you use the clear graphic effect, it will reset that. So you're gonna have to do a different one for each uh, version of this block. Okay, so now Scratch Cat's still kind of turned. Well, I guess from your perspective, it would be this way. And so I want to fix that. So I want to reset it so that Scratch Cat is pointing in the direction to the right. So now, points the correct direction. Awesome. Now Scratch Cat moved around. I wanna make it so that Scratch Cat goes back to the middle of the screen, which the middle is zero, zero. So like this, now when I run it, it's back in the middle. And this last part change size by, and then it's picking a random number. I want Scratch Cat to reset to the correct size, which was 100% when we started this, instead of 470 that it is right now. Cool. So now this reset function is going to make Scratch Cat look like that whenever we run it. Now to run this, I'm gonna show you three different options. So one of them, when we press the green flag, we can broadcast a message to simply reset. So that way Scratch Cat, if we got this interesting looking cat, as soon as you press the green flag, boop, it runs all that and fixes it. We could also make it so that it resets um, whenever a user triggers it by pressing like the space button, space bar. So like we um, press the stuff button and as soon as I press space bar, like now it resets it. Or we could even use another button so that when the reset button is clicked, it's going to broadcast the message reset. So we could make it do its thing and reset, boop, goes back to normal. Cool. So. What I just demonstrated for you would work really well for this code right here. However, in your project, it might look different. If you don't have any looks blocks that are changing the effects, then you don't need the clear graphic effects. If you're not changing your angle by turning, you don't need to point in a different direction. And if you're not moving, you don't need to go to another spot. So only put the blocks in here for the blocks that match what you're changing in your sprite and that you'd like to reset. So have some fun experimenting with this and uh, try out using some different blocks that you'll need to learn how to reset. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org where you can also learn about our high quality professional development.